Huh? It would be song. wicked, wouldn't it? Yeah. They play it in Shaft, the film, and it really gets you going. They're stripped on all that now, isn't mm. it? He's in the... Can't do anything. It's out of water. <laughs> it's out of water! <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh my god, so... <laughs> Chronics. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Okay, wait. Okay. <clears throat> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is an empties video. It's not long overdue, it's about an average size. There are about 20,000 body lotions. Um, it weirdly, I think I must have finished all of the shampoos that I sort of had halfway through and conditioners and things, because there's none. How weird is that? How odd. Mind you, I did have 27,000 of those in the last video, so maybe I've just I have been methodical in working through things. Um, next one will have a lot of empties for the shampoos because I know there's quite a few in the shower. I'm going to start with skincare because as always I know that's why the majority of you are here. Two cleansers. One you will have seen much more recently. Uh, this one you haven't seen in a long time. This is a really a miracle cleanser. Looks like this. Um, this is, when this first came out I compared it in scent and texture to the old version, the original version of Liz Earl's Cleanse and Polish, except it was thicker because it sits in a jar. Um, oh. Being Aurelia, it is all about prebiotics, probiotics, um, sorry, probiotic skincare, even says it on the label. <laughs> Read, that helps. Uh, really, really nice, um, gentle. I use this as a face cleanser. I don't use it to take my makeup off, but I know plenty of people do. Um, lovely brand. I did a brand overview on them last quarter last year. I can link to that below. It might be helpful to you. Um, shout out to their deodorant. When they showed me the deodorant, I went the very, very me. It's not an attractive face. No, I never said it was. But I am, um, let's just lay it out there. I don't pers perspire as much as sweat. I'm one of those women. I sweat. There's no nice way of saying it. Even if I was in Gone with the Wind and I was sort of flapping myself, it wouldn't be that I, I was perspiring. I would be sweating like a racehorse. So I always poo-pooed the idea of any kind of natural deodorant that you just rub in the armpit as opposed to just a roll-on, da-da-da-da-da. However, I'm a bit of a convert. I say bit. I still love my usual roll-ons. I can't use a spray. Uh, it's too, too fumy and too in my face and ugh but I do like my usual roll-ons. However, the Aurelia cream deodorant is easily the best one I've tried in that sort of formula of aluminium free. They're worried about, um, if you're worried about what you put on your armpits, check out their deodorant. It's the best thing I can say. Kate Somerville has one, two, three products in this, no surprise. Goat milk cleanser, ding, 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 bingo tick. Um, uh, this is now sort of synonymous with the blog. If you're a long-term reader, you know the story. Ava also uses this. So as always, I haven't gone through, um, actually most of these I have gone through myself, but she does, Ava does get her hands on this. I always try and give you a fair as assumption of, a fair assumption, a fair estimation, enunciate again, um, a fair estimation of how much you can expect to use. This is a good couple of months because again, I, you can use this to take your makeup off, I just prefer not to. This is my second cleanse or my morning cleanse. Uh, all skin types, as with the Aurelia, all skin types. If you're super, super sensitive and you don't like fragrance, the natural element of Aurelia you might find a little too much. It's not that it's particularly strong, it's not that it's aggressive, but if you have a sensitivity in that area, maybe check it out. Um, this one I think you could be fine with. It's not fragrance free, but it's not what I would call uh, a really obnoxious, obvious fragrance. I know, that makes no sense. I don't know what to tell you. Pads, acid, PHA, Biopeel, Zellens. This is polyhydroxy pads, um, all gone. There are 50 in a jar. Uh, again, I don't use these every day. I calmed down my acid intake uh, once I sort of got heavier on the retinols. Um, but these are a, Again, gold standard in terms of PHA. Uh, Dr. Lenz does not like glycolic, but he, uh, he likes the idea of using an acid, but it is 
polyhydroxy acid. It acts as a humectant on the skin, so when you have applied this, uh, you have a single pad, you go all over the face, spin it over and go all over again, and you can finish on your neck with these. They're not too harsh, but they do do the job. Two mists, as always. Uh, both of them you have seen numerous times, one more than the other. January Labs Restorative Tonic Mist looks like this. Um, has a really lovely pump, which actually there's a tiny bit left. I wonder if I can get some out. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Hey! Oh, excuse me. Oh, almost. Um, this is a water, aloe vera, witch hazel, rose extract, glycerin, all the kind of things that you want to see in a facial mist. And obviously the next one is Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator. Um, the little one. Again, with this, I had a few of these dotted around, so I you don't always see them in empties because Josh very kindly sent me two or three of the really big ones and we use those to decant into these and we keep them around the office and we all share them, so it's not just me. However, this one has been refilled numerous times, so I think it's time to let it go. Oh, man. Still, I mean, I love... I love all of the mists I talk about a lot, but this will forever be my... This is my Joran Joran of mists. <laughs> yeah, I went there, people. Okay. Eye cream. This is actually two of my favourite eye creams ever. Zellens Triple Action Advanced Eye Cream here. Looks like that. Um, actually, there's like a two, three day supply still left in that. But while it was empty, I did think I'll drop it in. I will use that up during the day in the office. Not all in one day. Um, triple action of eye cream, Tri triple action being because it does dark circles, fine lines and wrinkles and puffiness, I think, from memory. Um, as always, gold standard in skincare, the dock. And this, I think, is my favourite for texture alone and for the results it gets on wrinkles around the eye and it's Kate Somerville Line Release Under Eye Repair Cream. It does have the window at the side so that you can weep as you see as you see your future moving further and further away. Um, airtight pump. <gasps> Waste not, want not people. Uh, thank you, that is not gonna be rubbed all over the back of my hand. If I look suddenly now really greasy for the rest of the video, cut me some slack. Yeah, I'm not sweating, but I'm not wasting that product. Um, I love, love, love this. If fine lines, dehydration, and sort of wrinkles around the under eye, half moon area of your eye is your main concern, you cannot go wrong. If you have uh, a bigger scope of concerns, if you look at your eyes and think, oh, I just hate them, please don't do that. Please talk to yourself in a nice voice. But this is also awesome. Um, serum, Revitalize and Glow Serum Aurelia again. Like I said, just trying to work through things. Jasmine, Plumeria, Tuberose and Mandarin. True story, tu Tuberose is my favorite smell ever. This is totally dead. <laughs> um, this is for you if you uh, if your skin feels dull, if it feels a little uh, dehydrated, if you just wake up and think, I could really look better than I do, I need a bit more oomph. You could do worse than to try this out. Again, they are going to be at the more natural end of the scale, but they're not what I would ever call that sort of green brand that says it, they're never, they've never been a brand that talks about what's not in their product. With Aurelia, they are packed formulas. It's just that they sit at one end of the scale and someone like Kate Somerville sits at the other, if that makes sense. So if you are more worried about um, certain ingredients, check out their website. And like I say, I've linked to their brand overview so you can see more details. Um, have, a, have a look, see what you think. But if, if you are, if you are more concerned about ingredients, whereas I'm at the age where I just need all the help I can get, plus Jesus and the angels, I'll use pretty much anything to get this doing anything. If you have the mindset of the fewer man-made ingredients on my face, the better, try a brand like Aurelia. Speaking of which, give me all of it. Kate's in little deep tissue repair. Again, has been on the blog numerous times, has been in empties numerous times. Probably my favorite moisturizer stroke serum. Uh, you do not need this if you are young, fit, healthy, your skin is great, you don't smoke, you don't drink. Like, stay away from it until you need it. 30s, maybe, but if, again, if you're really healthy, maybe not. If you are in your 40s, you may want to check this out. And if you are in your 50s and above, 
it should be your best friend. Um, you can use this over more active serums. You can use it as a serum. It's loaded with peptides. When I want this to have the most benefit, I will use a good acid before it. I don't really, because you want this to penetrate as much as it can. I mean, everything's limited, but you want it to penetrate as much as it can. So I like to prep the area. <laughs> Sounds a bit like I'm going on a first date, does it not? But I would do a really good acid, especially a P50, for example, and then do either uh, eye cream. And sometimes I'll go straight in with just something like this, or I'll use a more, more sort of effective anti-aging serum and then this on top. But I love this cream. And these also you can take apart to see that they are completely dead. Although again, I could get, actually I don't think I'm gonna get anything from that look. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, that is skincare for the face, done. Skincare for the body, however, uh, this is a special shout out from son number one, Ben, who gets really, really bad eczema on his hands. Uh, he gets patches on his face if he is eating foods that he's not suited to. Um, Epiderm, it's from the chemist. It is the exact opposite of say an organic pharmacy's ultra dry skin cream, which is organic and no petroleum and blah, 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 blah. This is grease. Um, but he, it's the first thing he goes for when he has outbreaks on his hands and he wants to ease the pain. If you have really severe eczema on your hands and you do have to wash your hands a lot, try out Epiderm. Like I say, not my recommendation, but if my kids bring me something and go, you need to talk about that in an empties video, I will listen to them and do it because they know what they're talking about. <laughs> um, Extra psoriasis, dry skin, fragrance, colouring and SLS free, suitable for all ages including babies. This is the kind of thing that when he was little the doctor said you can wipe this all over him before you put him in the bath and then it becomes a body wash too. So just a shout out to that for keeping his hands together. Shower gel, just one, the rest are, there's about 15 in the bath area that need to again be sorted and amalgamated. Um, Decleor, this is the lavender one, lavande fine. I know it's not fine in French, but well, fin, 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 I can't remember. Bath and shower gel, 98% original origin. This is uh, tonifying. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Ooh, I'm not too sure what actual toning you'll get from a shower gel. I just know that I love Decleo, I love the smells. Any kind of French, French spa brand, Clarins, Decleo, uh, Carita, Darfan, all of those brands. There's very little from them that I do not like. I am Paula Burgoyne's worst nightmare. I love a French brand. I love an essential oil. That will be the cross I will die on. Uh, body, now, loads of body lotions and some of them have a little bit left, but I bought it with me so I can keep it stored upside down to get it out because if I left it at home, Ava would use it and that's why I'm gonna hold it upside down. Fresh sugar lemon. We are off to the States tomorrow, Ava and I. We're gonna do some shopping and I will pick up a few bottles of this because it's literally pound for dollar um, in terms of pricing. So I will get some more of this. I love it. I don't even know what else to tell you. If you do do the bingo, <laughs> you may now tick your box because this is probably going to be in every empties from now until the end of time. Uh, there's also sugar lychee, and I can't remember what the other one is, but the lemon is by far my favorite and now I can feel it getting heavier at the bottom. Let's just have a little smell of vision Hang on. Don't wanna waste it. Oh, honestly, like my nostrils sing whenever this is in the vicinity. Oh, Lord. You can never, ever, ever have too much fresh lemon in your life. Uh, Lanolips. Body, this is, just give me a minute while I just massage this all through. Lanolips body, coconutter body milk. Now again, there's a teeny bit left in this, but I wanted to get it in the video. Uh, I love this because it is rich, it's nourishing, but it's not too rich that it leaves you greasy. And I love the coconut, obviously. Hang on. Oh, let's just add more to the fire, why not? Oh, now I've got lemon and coconut. <laughs> it's like a dream. Oh, okay. However, there are a couple of caveats which I should have mentioned on these and I'm going to separate them out the way I do them. These two I only ever really use in the upper body. They're more expensive, they're richer. I like cheapest chips, tits and below. We've had said this before. But arms, decollete, anywhere where I want to keep smelling it all day, 
Uh, my arms get quite dry around here. Ben gets his dry skin from me, I think. Um, so, and this is great for this. So when I've done my creams, if I was <laughs> naked in the privacy of my own bedroom, I would do, when you do this over your elbows to make sure you get everything covered. Only upper body, definitely only here, arms, because I want the scent. If I had to travel with one, obviously I could take it and use it all over. You can use it all over. I just don't want to waste it on my feet. Do you know what I mean? And then, carrying on from that, uh, two from L'Occitane, one that I, again, tend to only really use upper body, but I do take this one down to my stomach and round my back. This is the Milk Concentrate, the almond range. Doesn't smell of almond. <sighs> Smells of heaven. Oh God, amazing. Uh, also completely empty. And yes, to the people who've never seen my videos before and you see an empties, everything is recycled. Everything is used to the nth degree. Tubes are cut open. So wherever we can, we get the very, very last dregs out of everything. And then everything is appropriately dis disposed of. Um, this milk concentrate, I think it's about 40 quid, but I love it. And for the reason of the price, again, boobs and above. One more that actually I go further in. <sighs> L'Occitane 5% Ultra Light Cream. Looks like this. I love this packaging because you can get right in there. But when it comes, it's sealed with foil. So you have no worries that you do with some creams that you open it and someone's sort of been... Yeah, there's no interference with these products. I will use this all over. I prefer not to. I like cheaper on my legs and my bottom. But this is, again, here. But I will take this one further down the bod. Two for the bod. Two for the body. Two for the bum. Two for the ankles. Two for the legs. Aveeno. Uh, this one is daily moisturising body yoghurt. This does not last very long. That is my only complaint. Um, I am very heavy handed with it. It's about seven quid. Depends where you get it. This smells like, although it's called body yoghurt, it says vanilla and oat scented. It smells coconutty to me and it's not because I just used something else on my hand. Uh, this is a 200 ml. I find this doesn't go very far, but I will still always buy it because I love the, the texture. I love what it does to my skin. I love that I can use it anywhere on the body. So if I was traveling, for example, this is the kind of thing I would take because it's smaller. It's more compact than taking something like this. I would never travel with glass. This is obviously luxury. Love Aveeno. To that note, Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This one, we like I say, we're going to the States. I will stock up on some Aveeno because Aveeno, Neutrogena, all those brands, they have stuff over there that we cannot get here. So I will spend a lot of time in pharmacies. Um, these are obviously great for all over the body, but especially good for uh, tits and below. And there was a bit left, hang on. Okay, I've got a teeny. Uh, texture is light not heavy not thick not greasy well to the point where i've been rubbing all of these all over my hands i think there's a theme i like deeply hydrating i don't like greasy uh that is body and only two hair like i said one of them again get your bingo ticked davenez all in one milk um i just keep coming back to it i kind of know it and it's like a friend that i trust <laughs> Uh, I use it, I take my towel off, I spray it all over the hair, especially around the roots, brush it through, and then I do what I'm going to do with it. It detangles, um, they call it multi-benefit beauty treatment. I don't know if they say that it does anything else, but it says, oh, here we go. Again, I'm, I'm in the writing, my God, I'm not that bad. Um, adds shine, adds softness and silkiness, excellent detangling power, I would agree. Facilitates combing of dry and wet hair, controls frizz, moisturizes hair, facilitates blow drying, heat protection. So it kind of does everything. You get the gist. Um, yeah, I love it. It. They also make uh, shampoos and conditioners. They also have a hand cream, which I have in my desk and I hide, but Ben's discovered it. So love a bit of Davines, as you know. And the last one, which I will pick up again, the name cracks me up, but I will get more in New York because this is where I always find it in the States. It is the Chi, which stands for ca cationic? cationic hydration and interlink. I have no idea what that means. It's a hairspray that's called Helmet Head. Um, it is literally, oh, it's just hot air. Oh, there's a bit there. 
No. Um, this hairspray could glue a wall together. And sometimes when you have a blow dry and you have a tendency to frizz like Monica whose hair can be inexplicable, you need some of this. So it will make your hair like that, but we all need a bit of a helmet head in our lives. And on that note, I will leave it. Um, I don't know when this is going up or when what's next, but we will definitely be buffering this either side. See what I did there, buffering with retinol videos because they are still ongoing. Have a lovely week and I will see you soon. Bye.